Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be the first video in the long-awaited Mativic development video series. This is something you guys asked about and something I've been wanting to do for a while now. Mativic development is one of my favorite topics and has probably been one of the more challenging things for me to work on and improve in my own playing. Now, I made an introduction video to what Mativic development is so make sure to go and watch that video before you watch this video or any of the upcoming ones in this series. In the introduction video, I give you a good idea of what Mativic development is and why it's so important in improvising. Much of the material in this series is going to be borrowed from the great jazz trombonist and educator, Mr. Hal Crook. Hal's book, How to Improvise, should be a staple in every jazz student's library. Now, there are several ways and techniques to develop motifs. And in each one of these videos, I'm going to cover one or two of these ways and tell you exactly how to practice them to integrate them into your own playing. The first and most common way of developing a motif is a technique called variation. Variation is when the rhythm of the previous motif is repeated more or less exactly or very similarly, while the melody notes change. In other words, you play an idea and then the next idea you play has exactly the same rhythm as the first idea or very similar rhythm to the first idea, while the notes change. So rhythm stays the same, notes change. That's variation. And here is a demonstration of how that is done. So, rhythm stays the same, notes change. That's variation. So that's pretty straightforward, but you'd be surprised how much more interesting your playing becomes if you start practicing this way of developing the material you come up with. So here's how you practice variation. Turn on a play along, it could be any style, any groove, any tempo, it could be one chord or many chords, whatever you feel comfortable with. Play a short motif containing developable characters for one or two bars. Rest for one or two bars. Then play a development of the first motif by repeating the rhythm and changing some or all of the melody notes of the first motif. Then rest. And then again, play a short motif containing developable characteristics for one or two bars. Then rest for one or two bars and play a development by repeating the rhythm of the first motif and changing some or all of the melody notes. And then rinse and repeat. You play an idea, you rest. You play a development of that idea by keeping the same rhythm of the first idea and changing some of the notes or all of the notes. So that's the first exercise. The second exercise is very similar to the first one, except this time you're going to be playing two developments of each idea. So play an idea for one or two bars, rest for one or two bars, then play a development of the first idea by keeping the same rhythm and changing the notes, rest for one or two bars, and then play another development of that same first idea by keeping the same rhythm and changing some of the notes. So in this exercise, you simply play two developments of each idea and not one like in the first exercise. And here is a demonstration of how that is done.
are many more ways to create continuity and motivic development in your playing, many more techniques to do so. And I will be covering each of these techniques in my future videos. This is what's gonna set your playing apart from pretty much everyone else's. Because honestly, very, very few people have proper motivic development in their playing. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. I reply to everyone personally and coach everyone on how to best get results with the material that I'm presenting in these videos. Also, please comment, like and subscribe to the channel if you like these kinds of videos. I also post occasional vlogs on this channel from my touring life and my concerts. I recently posted a vlog from my long tour with Kamasi Washington and I'll leave a link somewhere here on the screen for you to check out. If you'd like to follow me on tour, please find me on Instagram. I'm about to head back out and I'm always posting cool pictures, videos and clips of us playing and goofing around all over the world. That's about it guys. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and I will see you in the next video.